morning guys today is friday the 29th of december christmas is behind us we're trying to get over that bulge from eating too much cheese chocolate too much wine and now we're getting back on track because we've only got two more days until new year's and then all the new year's resolutions we're gonna set in are you getting on it early i know i am because I am on prep and as you know, I started my prep a couple of weeks ago. We have a crazy puppy. As you know, I am on prep and I started my prep about four or five weeks before Christmas so that I could get a head start on Christmas. I've literally just gotten up. Um, it's half past nine, quite late for me and I woke because the Asda delivery had arrived. So I'm just going to take you quickly through what I got on my Asda delivery to give you some ideas of what you might like for meals for yourself and what we have regularly in the Griffin house. This is what it looks like. Now this will do us for about a week. I know it looks like a lot of food, but we do eat a lot of food. Here we have some bramble apples, because I'm going to make an apple crumble for New Year's Eve. I appear to have ordered multiple packs of blueberries, so I think it's going to be an apple and blueberry crumble. Got more blueberries, some raspberries, some more raspberries and some strawberries. Pineapple, this is all for Lex's morning fruit salad. He has that and he tops it with some of this fat-free rhubarb and vanilla yogurt. And that's pretty much Lex's standard breakfast every day. Move on to the frozen stuff before it defrosts. So here we have my current favorite. This is Lex's salted caramel oppo frozen dessert. It's like a healthy ice cream and the macros on it are pretty amazing. So for 100 ml, which is two scoops, 100 ml of ice cream does not equal 100 grams. Ice cream is not the same as water. It doesn't freeze the same. It has milk in there and it's a more dense property. Don't presume that this is 100 grams because 100 ml is completely different. Usually 100 ml of ice cream equates to about 57 to 60 grams of your ice cream. So if you're pulling out 100 grams, you're actually taking in a lot more than you should. So don't be tricking yourself. There's actually less than you realize. I know if you search on my fitness pal, you can find the nutritional content of Oppo ice cream in per gram. So this is Lex's favorite. I'm not a fan of the salted caramel. I think it has a funny aftertaste, but it has per 100 ml, which is about 57 grams, 3.9 fat and 6.6 .6 carb, three grams of protein. And this one is absolutely delicious. It's the Colombian chocolate hazelnut and it's like frozen Ferrero Rocher is the only way I can describe it. It's so good. It has a little bit more fat, so it's four grams of fat and a little bit more carb, 7.5 grams of carb, and it also has 4.2 grams of protein. So I wouldn't consider this a protein product by any means, but it is super healthy and you can eat a lot more of it and enjoy a lot more of it. To be honest, for 100 ml or the two scoops, you actually get a significant amount, so it's not too shabby for that. I love these Alaskan salmon fillets from Asda. They're really convenient. And surprisingly, per one little sachet of salmon fillet, you actually only have 3.5 grams of fat because salmon can actually have quite a high fat content. But these are 3.5 grams of fat and 21 grams of protein. And you can simply just cook them from frozen in the oven, add some lemon, some salt, some pepper, and just leave them in the oven wrapped in foil. And just very handy, but tasty, and healthy. Moving on to our vegetables, we have some handy classic mash from Asda. Now this has very convenient uh, macros. We've got 2.2 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs and 2.4 grams of fiber in that and that's for 100 gram. Usually we'll have about 200 grams of that and it's just easy and handy just to have in the fridge. We also have some of this sweet potato mash, also extremely convenient to have and you can put it in the freezer if needs be. It only has 0.9 grams of fat and 9.4 grams of carbs per 100 and again that's something very easy that you can fit into any diet and you're still getting your health in. I love mushrooms and I love the little baby ones. I usually have them with my breakfast with some bacon and I also 
will tend to have some of these little bagel thins because they're just they're a bagel but they've just got less carb content in them so a regular bagel can have up to 50 grams of carbs whereas these are pretty much half the size but you still have the taste of a bagel for 25 grams of carbs I appear to have a lot of the Philadelphia lightest there's a reason for this it's because I've been using it on my carrot cake muffins for the icing and also when I have smoked salmon on a bagel in the morning it's just really handy and the macros are just incredible on this per 30 grams which is like a pretty generous serving you've only got 0.8 grams of fat and 1.8 grams of carbs like that is very good for a generous serving normally I'd probably only have about 15 grams on a bagel moving on we have some Brussels sprouts Lex hates them but I like to parboil them and then I half them add some onion some garlic some balsamic vinegar and some garlic uh, fry light and then we just put it in the oven let them bake and they just taste delicious you can keep them in the fridge just to add to meals this is the onion and chive soft cheese light and it's as the own brand it has more fat than the philadelphia lightest it's up at 11 grams of fat per hundred whereas the lightest is only 2.5 grams of fat per hundred you can add it into the center of chicken wrap the chicken in some ham and you've got yourself an amazing dinner on to our standard for our brews so lex always has tea and he has the best of both which is a skim milk that tastes like one percent and then we have the coconut almond milk which is standard for my coffees i've got these avocados they're already ripe and ready to be used i'll probably crush them with some of these cherry tomatoes some onion and then i'll mix it together and add some paprika and some other seasoning and then it's perfect for some avocado on toast for bagels for brunch we also have some medium free range eggs i tend to have a lot of egg whites but when i feel like i'm not getting enough fat in i'll obviously add in some eggs i have some of this berry black pudding now black pudding is not to everyone's taste but this one in particular if you're looking for a low fat option this one is quite good so per 100 and i think that each one is about 50 grams but per 100 we have 2.5 grams of fat 18.6 grams of carbs and 7.6 grams of protein so it's actually quite a good source of protein in there and the carbs are actually from oats so they are not the worst sugary form of carbs because there's only 0.77 grams of sugar in there if you enjoy it i use it in a rocket salad so we have a rocket here and i'll add some tomatoes and some cucumber make it just into a, a tasty salad sometimes i'll add some scallops that i've pan fried and it just makes for a really nice starter for a meal if you're having people over again we have spinach for my health i usually add this in with my button mushrooms in the morning and i feel like it adds some healthy micronutrients to my diet first thing in the morning we've got some scallions i just love scallions or some people call them spring onions and we eat these with our salads then I've got some mixed peppers for the convenience of making fajitas because they're just such a handy little meal when you're stuck for time. I've got these bags of sweet potatoes, just standard sweet potatoes. I tend to cut them up, boil them and then make them into fries and I just love a sweet potato. I actually had ordered more of these. These are like the protein pots. They're just handy for when you're on the go and I was planning on bringing them with us when we go to LA just for on the flights because they're handy to have like a little protein healthy snack with you this is as their own brand authentic fat-free greek yogurt it just tastes just as good as the FIA zero percent per hundred it's 0.5 gra less than 0.5 grams of fat 5.5 grams of carbs and 9.3 grams of protein i tend to bake with this a lot and then i will add protein powder to it add it to smoothies and yeah we get through a lot of this in the week these are our super fruity yogurts lex likes these ones because it's mango papaya and aloe vera i am a little bit sensitive to mango so i don't have these ones but the macros on both are quite similar and they're 100 gram tubs it's 0.1 grams of fat 5.2 grams of carbs and 7.3 grams of protein so you're getting quite a good protein hit from that as well and these are my flavor which are the blueberry strawberry and koji berry and they're just a lovely little snack and they are just 100 grams each another thing to look out for is with yogurts and um, a lot of times it will have per 100 grams but sometimes the like muller light yogurts they will actually be maybe up to 160 grams per tub so you just have to look 
look out for the per hundred value because they don't always do a serving size on the outside of yogurt so be wary of that we are down to the last couple of items so i'm going to start here with these yogurt covered popcorn snacks these come in little handy six pack snack size and per 20 grams which is a serving size is 3.6 grams of fat 14.9 grams of carbs and uh, relatively no protein but these are a handy snack for Lex for pre-workout and they just are tasty. LucasAid have finally done the regular original LucasAid in a zero form and I love it. So I just have gotten a couple of bottles for myself. Then my standard Pepsi Max Cherry. I drink this particularly when I'm on prep because I have a bit of a sweet tooth and I find that if I have one of these post dinner it helps quell that sweet tooth. And one last thing that I almost forgot is the barbecue seasoning from Schwartz. This tastes so good on your chicken. Just literally cover your chicken in the barbecue seasoning and pop it in the oven and you have a tasty meal already. And last but not least here we have our Evian. I tend to keep Evian in the house because I don't like the taste of our top water and oh my hair is just gorgeous. Um, I don't like the taste of our top water and I feel like it encourages me to drink more water because if I open a bottle I just am determined to finish it. So I tend to have one of these big bottles during my gym session and then I tend to have another one gradually throughout the day and that keeps me hydrated. Part of your seasonal bloat that you're probably experiencing now is that you are simply dehydrated. Start drinking plenty of water and it will just flush all that salt through and it'll help you drop on the scales. I'm gonna go up now and wake Lex and weigh myself so I can update you on my weight. Two days ago, I weighed in at six pounds up from my Christmas day weigh-in. On Christmas day, I was 119.6 pounds and two days later, after two days of eating what I wanted, I was up to 125.6 pounds. I obviously wasn't very happy about that, but I just got on with it and got back to the diet. I have just weighed in and I am down today to 121.2 pounds. So I'm still 1.6 pounds up from my Christmas Eve weigh-in, but I expect that hopefully I'll have that down tomorrow or the next day because that was a good way in for me and I'm looking forward to going to LA and being in a nice fit position where I feel like I can hold off the weight and because tracking is going to be difficult when we're there I'm going to try my best I'm going to get cardio in there's facilities within the hotel we're staying in and obviously we'll be there with Gymshark they're all athletes as well so they all understand how important diet is to staying on track so hopefully I'll be able to stay on track as well as possible when I am in LA. So I am up and ready for breakfast now and I've got my first decaf coffee of the day with some of the coconut almond milk in and you can hear the microwave going off because I have one of my carrot cake muffins. Now the recipe for this is available on my cooking channel. It'll be linked at the end of this video and I'll link the actual carrot cake recipe below in the description box. I tend to put them in the microwave on a low heat just for about 15 seconds and it just takes the chill out of them because I store them in the fridge. So it's just after 1 p.m. and I'm about to have my proper kind of main breakfast slash lunch and this is what I am having. I have some diced up baby chestnut mushrooms. I have some red onion, some garlic and this is some of the smoked muscle food cheese and that's a high protein cheese with low in fat. I'm gonna add in some spinach. We're gonna make some scrambled egg whites with the cheese. Then in a separate pan, I'm going to fry up the mushrooms, garlic and onion with the spinach. I'll add in some balsamic vinegar and that will be done in the garlic fry light and the eggs will be done in the butter fry light. In the oven, I have some of the muscle food bacon medallions. I've got some cherry tomatoes and then I've got some of the black pudding for Lex. I'll be having my meal with some toasted nimble bread, which I quite like. And Lex is gonna have the previously popped bagel thin with some scrambled eggs. So he's gonna have scrambled eggs in the microwave. I'm just gonna microwave up two whole eggs with some milk. 
and some of the butter fry light in the microwave for him and he's gonna have that with some black pudding and I'll show you the end result in a second. Here we have Lex's black pudding, scrambled eggs with bagel and some of the likes Philadelphia. Here we have my nimble bread with some marmite on. We've got three bacon medallions. There is the mushroom and spinach mix and underneath you can see some cheesy egg whites. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now or my brunch, have a cup of coffee and sit and spend time with my husband. Just having an afternoon coffee with one of these high protein cookies by Dr. Zach's. I get them from Muscle Food and they have just really good macros on them. So for a cookie, it's 6.1 grams of fat, 28 carbs, but like there's only five net carbs, if that's the way you calculate them. And um, like 22.8 grams are polyols. So your body doesn't really digest them as regular carbs. And then there's 15 grams of protein. It's a perfect afternoon snack. They kind of taste like a brownie more than anything else, rather than a cookie, because they don't have that crunch of a cookie or the chewiness, but they're really tasty. Last half hour, I have been busying myself in the kitchen, making a dinner for later. Lex and I have decided we are going to go to Cheshire Oaks. It's a designer outlet mall, and just check out what kind of sales they've got going on. I want to prepare food so that when we got back, we weren't tempted to just get takeaway or have something handy. So I have a meatloaf in the oven, and some sauce on the side and I'll serve that up later. It's really quick and handy. I will record the recipe for that when we get back from LA. I don't have time over the next couple of days. We're quite busy. So I won't have time to set it all up and record it, but I'll do it as soon as we get back from LA to share this amazing recipe with you guys. In the meantime, there's loads of other recipes on my channel, so just go and check them out. I'm all dressed in some regular skivvies to go out. And these jeans are from Zara, I love the Zara jeans because they just fit me really good. I think they're the Shape U ones and these just fit me perfect. I get them in cropped because then they fit my leg. Lex's mum got me this for Christmas. I think it is from Topshop. It's a petite one, so as you can see, it's quite short and fitted. It's a size six. Got my undies sticking out. I've just dried my hair, put on some makeup, and I feel like I'm a human again. And we're gonna go to Cheshire Rocks now. That was a successful trip shopping. New hat. Yeah. Got a few new things. And now we're having my pre-prepared hey. meatloaf. Meatloaf sauce. You got Doritos. I made my own. You got mash because you're a man and you need more carbs. You're not forcing a mash on me. I'm forcing health on you. No, go on, eat this. Watch some Netflix. We're all set for LA. New luggage. Yeah, we got new, new luggage. I got some new trainers. I got a new jacket. That was a bargain. And now we're just going to watch Netflix and eat our food and go to bed because it's late. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's true. Checking with you tomorrow. Toodaloo. Good morning guys and welcome to December the 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and we are having some people over for food. Today I weighed in at 121.4 pounds. Now that's up from yesterday and there we have Lex. There are two reasons why my weight is probably up. Probably because normally I eat dinner about 7 p.m and last night it was like after 10 p.m when we had dinner and then also i've got my period and that can also lead to water weight and weight gain so if it's only 0.2 of a pound up that's not too bad so i'm having my coffee then i'm gonna go to the gym and then we're doing some photo shoot at midday i'm back in from the gym i completely forgot to bring my camera i did a full quad and calf workout and I haven't had breakfast yet. I literally had one of my car cake muffins. Following my workout, I did some cardio. I was waiting on the photographers to come to do what can only be described as one of the more ridiculous photo shoots I've ever done. It was for Archie's, which is like a shake shop, which does like burgers and fries and waffles and shakes. And they had the genius idea of trying to balance a shake on my bum, a milkshake, while I squatted. So it resulted in me spilling milkshake all down the bottom of my new seamless energy leggings. And now they're all covered in milkshake. And we got the shot. There was some thread involved holding up the milkshake, but now I'm back, I'm starving, 
and I'm gonna have what I have every day for breakfast, which you saw yesterday. My usual bacon, egg whites, mushrooms, and some nimble bread hidden underneath there. Just because you're a flexible dieter does not mean that you have to eat something new and unique every meal. It just allows you the flexibility to eat what you want while hitting your targets and hitting your macros. I tend to eat pretty similar foods every day, so at least I stay on track. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit pissed off with my weight being up today. I know it's only a 0.2 of a pound, but I was expecting it to drop, so even if I say the same, I probably would have been a little bit pissed off. But however, I got my workout in, I did some cardio, and I haven't really introduced cardio into my training yet, back in. So hopefully when I start doing cardio now, it'll help shift the pounds because I've slightly plateaued and I would like to get a nice little drop. But we are getting ready now for New Year's and then for LA. So I think I'm gonna try and do some packing for LA today. Today is January 1st, the first day of 2018. And I just wanna finish my video here now, wishing you all a very happy and prosperous 2018. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy all the videos to come throughout the year. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to cloud. Short to be an asshole